The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we have a bumper sales update for you, over £500 worth of eBay sales. Now, there is only maybe about 12 or 15 sales here, so obviously a lot of these items will be higher value. Now, as many of you will be aware, and I know, I know I keep saying it, but all I'm saying it is for the new people who have come on board and, and don't necessarily know where I'm at, essentially, so... Um, I am going to university and so I am in a process of clearing out my business, getting rid of everything essentially, only to start afresh in a different way when obviously I am at university. So, with that being said, some of these prices might not be top tier or the, the, the maximum I could get for things, but obviously with the circumstances I'm in, I'm having uh, to get rid of things at a little bit lower price, get the money in, get the items out, ready for starting afresh, as I say. So, with that being said, let's get on with this. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do subscribe if you would like to. Obviously, I do have a second channel as well, where we put in a little bit less effort, and it's just random content over there. It's nothing to do with reselling or investing, just live shows and things like that. Uh, we do some quizzes and stuff like that over there. Um, so, if you'd like to subscribe over to that channel, then the link will be down below. It's called Ads Extra. Um, so, with that being said, let's get on with this. Let's get on to the sale. So, first sale here is this vintage George Butler Sheffield boxed eight times tea knives uh, set here. $39.99 free postage. Now, I actually got these in a big job lot of cutlery. I think I paid uh, 40 quid, I want to say, for the big job lot. Now, there was these in here. There was about... I don't know, 9 or 10 boxed sets of cutlery. I did a whole video on this channel. Uh, I'm in profit on it now, so whatever uh, I get for these, obviously, after postage and fees is taken off, all that sort of stuff, is pure profit anyway. And I did actually get a pretty decent price for these, so, yeah, pretty happy with those. Uh, obviously, as you can see here, uh, just some small tea knives, as they're called. Though. That's what they were referred to on the side of the box here. Dewberry tea knives. Um, so, yeah, that's those there. Next, we have this Mathmos Astro Lava Lamp box in good condition. Um, you can see here, I got $66.99 for this item. Seven bids. I got this ages ago at the car boot for a tenner. I actually had it in my lockup, but since, obviously, I was clearing out of my lockup and getting rid of my lockup, um, I ended up having this in here, and I stuck it on. And I just stuck it on auction, whacked it on there, and it went all the way up to 67 quid. So it just shows the kind of items that I have just had sat there in my lockup. I could have made 40 quid net profit or 50 quid net profit on this or whatever it would come out as uh, in terms of net profit from £10 into 66 or 67 And I've just had it sat there and I've not done anything with it. Um, but it just shows in terms of sometimes... If you're really not that interested in an item, you just won't get around to selling it. And and, it, and it's really terrible, that is. So you just need to get over that and just list it, essentially. So, yeah, there's that one there. Next, we've got his vintage framed watercolour D. Boer, I think that's called. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Collectible wall painting, 19.99 on this one, plus 4.49. Posing a nice little item there. We'll have got this in an auction job lot. No more than a couple of quid for... Uh, I, I paid uh, very, very little for quite a lot of job lots of paintings one time at an auction. I actually bought about five lots of maybe four or five paintings and they were all coming out at about £2 each. So that's after commission as well. So yeah, a couple of quid into 19 there. Can't go wrong with that one. A lovely little sale. Next, another painting. I got this from... Now, did I, get... I know I paid a tenner for it. Yeah, I got this from a charity shop. Pretty sure I got this from a charity shop. So I paid tenner for this in a charity shop, and it went for fifty nine ninety nine. Lovely painting sale on this one. Nice looking little painting. I wouldn't have accepted much less than fifty nine ninety nine for it. So I was happy when I actually got that. It didn't go on an offer or anything like that. But if someone had sent me an offer for maybe 50 quid, then I probably would have accepted it. But that was actually the full price it went for. Uh, it's got a lovely gilt frame on it. Obviously, the gilt frames worth a little bit of money on its own. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. Um, but it is a, a lovely little painting. Matt. Obviously, it's quite traditional and stuff. Um, but yeah, $59.99 from a tenner. Can't go wrong with that one. Next, large metal hammered beaten effect. Co uh, uh, coal scuttle. It's called an in... I, can never, I, I can't pronounce this. 
in oh, no i'm not even going to try pronounce it on your on your own time i can't pronounce that uh 29.99 on bids now i had this on for ages at sort of 49.99 59.99 it just wasn't going it had quite a lot of interest but it just wasn't going and obviously since i'm getting rid of some stuff i ended up uh basically just converting it over to auction 29.99 starting bid i believe and it just went for that as you can see there one bid um, but yeah, I was happy to get it out. Probably paid around a fiver in an auction job lot. It might have cost me seven, eight quid in, in, in an auction job lot with other stuff. But it wouldn't have cost me more than that. There's no way it would have been more than seven or eight quid. So yeah, you know, still there's still some money on that. So I'm still fairly happy with that sale. Next, The Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, The Cut Series 1 Jack's Lab playset. Now I actually made a bit of a mistake on this one. So I actually paid... 15 or 20 quid on this uh, set here and as you can see I, I actually got 20 quid for it um i was thinking i paid this uh from someone i know and i was thinking at the time i probably paid a bit too much for that but i was really convinced that i might be able to get for 40 quid 50 quid for this and I just couldn't. It just sat there for ages and ages and ages. And as I say, with me stripping down the business at this point, got to just get rid of this stuff. So I've obviously taken a small loss on that one. But yeah, 1999. It is what it is. Uh, and that's that really. Just this nightmare before Christmas thing. Um, if you see this, obviously, maybe worth just picking it up for a few quid. Not 15 quid or 20 quid like I paid for it. Um... I, I don't know, I think maybe I must have seen on eBay at the time that one had gone for 40 or 50 quid, but that's not, it's not always assurance that just because one item has gone for 40 or 50 quid, it doesn't mean that yours will, even if it's on sold listings. It might be that that was just a freak sale, and you might have yours sat up there for ages um, at the same price, but it just won't go. So you've got to be careful when you're, oh, that's just a reminder on my phone. Um, You've got to be careful when you're buying things, you know, make sure you are looking in detail and stuff and, and uh, make sure that you're kind of trusting your gut a little bit as well. Maybe if something doesn't feel quite right, um, then maybe obviously don't buy it or maybe try and get a bit of money off. Next, we've got this Vintage Royal Worcester Bone China 29414 uh, Mystery Figure by F.G. Uh, Daunty. Uh, I didn't get 50 quid for this. I actually accepted an offer of 35. I got this in a job lot of sort of Royal Dalton ceramics and things like that. I think I paid about 15 quid for this in a job lot. It was a fair, it was a fair price that I paid for this in a job lot. It wasn't a really, really cheap figure. I got maybe three figures for 30 quid plus per commission or maybe even 35 pound plus commission, something like that. It wasn't a, a cheap figure anyway. Uh, but I had it up for 50 quid quite a while and uh, then I accepted an offer for 35. So there's still a bit of money in that. Um, but obviously there was no point me holding out, holding out because I'd already been holding out for, for ages. So I'll just get it gone, 35 quid, a little bit of profit in it and, and move on essentially. Next we've got a couple of sales actually. We've got these Guernsey selection of first day covers and then we've got this Jersey selection of first day covers. 24.99 and 24.99 now. I actually, uh, some money was taken off for these. It didn't come out at 49.98, came, uh, came out at 44.98. Don't know whether that was um, multi-buy or something like that, or whether it was me accepting an offer of theirs. I think it might, it might have been, I might have accepted an offer of theirs actually, and that's where it came out of that price. But I got these in a job lot, ten pound plus commission at the auction house. I got loads of first day covers, uh, yeah, and I'll be in profit on these now anyway. So yeah, that's uh, pretty nice there, pretty nice sale. Obviously, whatever is after that in terms of postage and fees and all the rest of it, that figure will then be just pure profit. So you can't really go wrong. Whenever you see these ephemera things at auction houses and there's a large quantity of it, even if it's not prime quality stuff, which this isn't really like prime quality or anything, but even if it's not prime quality stuff, you can still make some decent money on it, especially if you're getting it really, really cheap. So yeah, that's just those two there. Uh, next, we've got his Mars Attacks 50th Anniversary Collection book with collectible trading cards. Now, I think I paid about a fiver for this one off um, a friend of mine, essentially. And, uh, you know, 
uh, we were we were going through, we were looking at a few things, and we were thinking we were kind of working out some prices on things. And I think this came out about a fiver. So yeah, five pound into thirty quid plus postage. You can't really go wrong with that one. It had the little stickers or trading cards or whatever they are with them, and that's always a bonus, I believe. When I was looking at completed and sold, it seemed if you had the the four trading cards, it, it goes a little bit better. So that's potentially why I got as much as I did. But yeah, love little item. Um, Mars Attacks, interesting movie. Uh, I, I kind of, when I was younger, I think, I, I mean, when I was younger, I watched that movie and I was kind of scared of it, but I liked it at the same time. It's really weird. Um, I just like, I love, really like Jack Nicholson in it. Um, but yeah, 29.99 on that one. Next, we've got this vintage antique Royal Crown Derby. Um, Blue and gold ceramic milk jug with metal lid. This didn't go for twenty four ninety nine. I accepted an offer of twenty two pound fifty, I believe, plus postage. I mean, there's not much in it really there in terms of a difference. But yeah, twenty two pound fifty plus postage. Got this out of an auction job lot. I really don't. I, I honestly don't know what I got this out because it was ages ago, absolutely ages ago. It wouldn't have been more than a few quid though, so I've still made good money on that one. So yeah, there's that one there, nice little item. Last couple of items here, Vintage Royal Cauldron X2500 Bittersweet Hand Painted Orange Floral Bowl. Tw uh, I didn't get 29 on this one again, eBay isn't including on these pages the offer price that I accepted. Sometimes in these sales updates it doesn't do that. Um, but yeah, I got £21 for this plus postage. Will have paid about a fiver for this in an auction job that I got. So a bit more expensive, but still again, there's a little bit of profit in that. I really liked this bowl and I would have liked to get 30 quid. But as I said, at the moment, I've just got to get things cleared out. So I'm more than happy to accept an offer for 21 quid plus post. And at the end of the day, a fiver into 21 quid. Still not that bad. It's still going to make me a bit of money there. And then finally, we've got this box, Jungle Green, fantastic Nintendo N64 console. Um, and as you can see here, £146. Now, I do have a confession to make. I didn't test this, and that's why I put four parts and not working. I mentioned that it very well could be working in the description, very well might be working, but obviously I can't put it as used condition because it isn't fully tested. Now I didn't test this because I had a lot of stuff to get through from my lockup. I had a lot of stuff to get through from my storage area where I already have a lot of items on eBay and I've got a very very short window of time before university to actually get all this stuff cleared out. So if I had more time I would have tested that along with other consoles that I had um, and then I, I might have been able to get 250 to, certainly like 200, maybe 250, maybe even squeezing a bit close to 300, but that might be a bit too high, I think, really. But yeah, I mean, 200, 250, definitely. But yeah, I just had to put it on, whack it on with a load of other things because I was trying to list like my get everything sorted, get everything out, and I'm still no way near there. I've got so many items on eBay, and I've got literally two months left now, and uh, yeah, I just, I don't know how I'm going to do it, so I've had to kind of cut a few corners which isn't the best thing to do but ultimately I still got 146 quid so that was good um, this was pretty much the last thing to go out of a big haul a, a huge haul of video games video games consoles I got about two years back it's actually on this channel as well uh, I got about eight boxes uh, eight big boxes of uh, PC games, PS2 games, Xbox games, all that sort of stuff was in there. I think there was a few GameCube games in there and everything. There was an N64 in there. There was, I think, I think there was other consoles in there. I can't even remember now. It was so long ago. But I am in profit on that job lot now. So because obviously this was the last thing to sell. So whatever that that gets, obviously after posting fees is pure profit. So that's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, again, I have been a bit sort of cutting corners and stuff there by not testing it but that's what I've got to do at the moment so with that being said that is everything if you did enjoy this sales update then please subscribe to the channel for more reselling and investing content there will be reselling and investing content while I am at university so don't worry about that we are still sticking with that on this channel uh, as I say if you want to go over to my second channel where we just have a bit more of a relax and a bit of fun in live streams and stuff like that 
please feel free to go over there. The link will be down below. Uh, if you liked it, obviously whack a like down below. Obviously it helps with the algorithm. It helps get these videos out there. If you have any comments, questions or queries, whack those down below as well. And I will leave it there. So thank you very much for watching guys. And I will see you in the next one. See you very soon guys.